guys welcome back smart input Ugh. it was a headache it was a headache really 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 uh, i'm sure you felt the heat too okay let's look at it it takes in events field index you remember enable smart typing where we use a key down events to track uh the smart input so for every event on it so uh now we're on the challenge let's look at it okay uh before before i start this course let me just run it for you to see how it runs so do i need to refresh okay let's refresh all right guys welcome back now this was the headache of the whole course smart inputs let's look at it critically seriously it was a headache i have to look at this function over and over again really i'm serious it's crazy but i'm happy I finished on time okay now let's look at the smart inputs where are you okay uh now we we have um, a lot of things here i'm going to open my console because um, we would be doing some other stuff too so the idea is uh The idea is uh, if you index, you remember we had like six of them, zero, one, two, three, four, five. If field index is less than four, that means we, were, we are considering zero, one, two, and three. Those zero, one, two, three, those four fields are actually less than four. So we are uh we are left with uh name so name uh, also we said or if field index is equal to five which is this month and year so uh, we declared valid keys that are allowed according to the question backspace tap shift key delete arrow key arrow right arrow left and uh, if you look at if some if you want to use the key code it's okay if you look at this uh, resource key code dot info key code dot info is really resource a uh, good place to look at keyboard events uh, if you press backspace let me refresh this so you press backspace you see it's actually eight event code is eight top event code is uh, events key is up the which is nine the event code key code is nine actually too so uh, delete key you have delete key as well so you have different it's really a good tool uh, also if you if you wish to understand more you could do something like uh, let me see event event dot key was it key event dot code so you have events dot code to know what someone is typing so if you are here backspace enter so the same thing that's just what they are implementing here for for you to look at so we after this if this is true if it's any of this field to start with 
uh, we will now enter into consider this other if now. So we say if fill index is actually less than four, that means we are talking about these four fields right now. And uh, if you notice, this is negating this. Now, if you hide this and do valid keys that includes event key, that means it's going to look through this array of backspace tab and this and check if event dot key, whether we hit a backspace or a plus sign, includes any of this. Now, negating it means they are not in the list. Okay, does not con is not contained here. You are going to prevent default means. Don't allow it happen. So if, even when I put um, be tapping my S D and letter, nothing is typing. It doesn't happen. Now for this other one here. We do the same thing. If it's fail and invalid does not include this, and event key is not equals to is equals to this, then you prevent if prefer. Okay, you prevent default. Then um, uh, I think. Uh, Okay, user input, we, we need to make sure it's a string. Uh, sorry, it's, a, it's an int. Event.key is an int. We don't want any string coming in. So return false if it's not a number. If it's not a number, just return false. So now we're going to store the current field that user is working in. If it's here, the current field should be one. If it's here, the current field would be two. So now, you now said if this current field dot value dot length. You remember we've used this function before. Dot value dot length is less than the attribute size. So we could also say current field dot target dot size. It's the same thing. Uh, we would say app state. Remember our app state we declared in display total would say upstate.card digits, which is a state element that collects an array of character, field index. If it's zero, so here will be zero, then uh, the current field at length, you remember, as you are typing, you have one, two, three, four, uh, and now take this user input and save it on that position. Uh, so uh, you increase it as time goes on. Current field at value plus or equals to user input. That means you add to it, increment it. It's like a string, saving it in there. Now, we we call our detect card function here if its field index is equals to zero. Uh, we will now take the first four digits equals to upstate dot digits dot zero. You detect the card, that means immediately I type the uh, four three, two, one. It's a visa card, so let's say five. 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 See, immediately I type five. It detects it's a visa card. So, uh, if field index is less than three, that means we are considering zero, one, two, right? Because it can't be equal to three. We are considering zero, one, two. It's less than three. So we are going to do the input mask. Let input mask equals to this, first digit equals to this. For i, current field dot value dot length, that means at every time it's typing to wait for 500 milliseconds, that's half a second, then convert that, enter this value, whatever it's typing, is masking this value. 
remember before this mass happened we had saved our item into app state so it doesn't have affect the real value current value you, you now this value now you now bring it and save into the current value current dot value which is this value so what we are doing we are actually collecting what is typed save somewhere else and re-rendering this instead make sense oh. <laughs> you have to go through it over and over yourself again sometimes i get confused myself so but that is basically it for smart input it's been a headache for the competition for the challenge so See you in the next video.